Hi people, in this video we are going to learn how to uninstall and reinstall WordPress on your cPanel. You want to reinstall WordPress to resolve issue when all other troubleshooting tips fails. The first step is to make a backup of your old website and then reinstall WordPress on your domain using cPanel. Let's get started. I'm Osman from Kodi Digital. Let's uninstall WordPress from your cPanel. First, you need to log into your cPanel. You have to write your link and then slash into cPanel. It will redirect you to your cPanel login page. Then write your username and password login now go to your cpanel and find the domain section then open the file manager of that particular domain now click the file manager you can see all of your website content here our next step is to delete all the unnecessary and files for this you have to unhide all of your files to delete click on setting select your domain click on show hidden files and then ok now you can see all of your hidden files here now delete all these files from your particular domains our first step is completed. Next step is to delete the databases of that particular domain on which you want to reinstall WordPress. First find the database user of that domain. cPanel PHP My Admin, find the user and then write option you can find this type of option in the table click on this you can see that this user redirect you to the your original domain let's delete the database go to your cpanel and find mysql databases now find that user which we identify from the php my admin Search the user. Now delete. Click on delete database. Okay, now go back to your cPanel dashboard. And the final step is to install WordPress. Find the WordPress manager by now select the uh, version you want to install and then the domain you want to reinstall WordPress on it. Write the admin user and password and the email you want to receive information. Wait a minute, uh, we have an error now what to do go down and find the that particular domain remove the current installation as shown in the tutorial click on remove installation click on ok now return to the overview and try this step again click on install now select the version domain and then username and password and the admin mail which is contact at the rate of com. you can also send your queries on that domain save the user and password now your wordpress installation has begun wait for a few minutes 
Okay, now WordPress is successfully installed on your website. Bingo! Congratulations! If you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also give your suggestions to improve these tutorials. Thank you. Thank you.